Hi everyone, welcome to my session on Rent Smart Project. As all of you are EPC contractors here, I want to share my experience of what our solution has delivered to EPC contractors globally. My name is Vergis Daniel. I am the CEO of Rent Solutions, who are the developers of the Smart Project application. Now, let me take an example of one of our one of our esteemed customers, LNT, they have been doing executing projects for last few, so many decades, and they had multiple different systems by which they were managing the project. Now, half a decade back, we implemented our software, and this is a testimonial from them, where the most important thing is that the we created a culture of a digital engineering digital engineering, which was the biggest value that we delivered to them by integrating all the teams which are associated with execution of an EPC project. I'm sure you would know the complexity of an EPC project. There are clients, there are contractors, there are subcontractors, there are vendors, and you need to deliver all this on time and on budget because most of you execute project on an EPC basis, which is fixed cost, fixed time basis. So there is a lot of risk on you and that is where we are here to help you. So just to share some experience of our customers. So we have a large list of customers in various industry sectors who have been using our application for many years. Now these are some examples of few of the customers who are in different industry sectors who have used our system. Now, now coming into what is that we can offer you. So there are four things which are critical for a EPC contractor. As the most important thing is, you always get paid for your construction. So the most important thing is more than the project, you need to focus on your construction for uh, construction related activities. So that is why I put construction work from monitoring as the first important criteria. Second is you need to make sure that you execute it in a very safe way with no uh, loss of human or any uh, thing from a safe safety part and you want to deliver this at quality. So that's the second important thing. Third is, as I said, you're executing projects on fixed cost and fixed time basis. You need to monitor your cost meticulously so that you do not lose money and you have to constantly keep chasing your cash flows because most of the time, the projects are always front loaded so that you have to invest money from your hand and then you get paid as a project process. So capturing and making sure that you get paid on time is very critical for you. And last is that ultimately you close out a project when you actually deliver all these things to your client and so that the client can hand it over to their asset group so that they can start maintaining the uh, project that you have built for them. So now walking you through each of those, the first important thing here is you need to know the overall picture of the project. So we as Wrench provide you a digital dashboard which, is, which gives you a holistic picture of what your project is. So the important thing here is how are you performing on various aspects of the project from a schedule, cost, from all the critical items and also the deliverables of engineering, procurement, construction. And the more important thing is you need to know what's not going okay, which is you need to know which milestones have slipped, how many are the backlogs and the impact of these delays on the schedule of your project and on your cost, which means you need to know what is the future of this particular project based on your current status. Then the next thing is you should be able to drill down into this as well so that you can look at the detail aspect of it. Now, since I said construction is the most important thing, you need to plan your construction work fronts. So you know that this is a total scope. This is the number of engineering front that you need for doing this construction. You need, this is the procurement front. This is a, a you know, the, uh, the total front available. You need to keep, making sure that you have the maximum front available for your construction so that you can execute this uh, work in a smooth way. The first thing is to make sure that your engineering is producing the drawings which you require for doing your construction front. Okay, so here based on your work front, 
construction front, you look at which of these deliverables of engineering are delayed, you can see, or possibly delayed. That's also very important because you want to protect it from getting delayed. So this will make sure that your engineering is not doing something independently. And in case this engineering is done by a consultant, you can keep notifying them that these drawings are required for me to start up work in this construction. So engineering alone will not do. You also need to track procurement also because procurement is a long cycle process because they have long deed items as well as other items which needs to go through a process which means it gets tendered where it goes out to vendors to get their uh, bids. You need to evaluate the bids, then you need to negotiate the deal and finally place the order. And if it's manufactured item, you need to make sure that the vendor drawings are approved, you give manufacturing clearance, inspection. There are various steps that needs to be completed before it is delivered to your site. So you need to track those things to make sure that you have the material available for construction. And then the last part of it is the uh, resources available for construction in terms of the machinery and manpower so that you are ensuring that all the three things, the engineering drawings, the material and the manpower and the machinery required for executing your work for, for your front availability for construction. And then once you have this information, you can monitor your progress based on construction and you can see the impact of the progress on your work front also. So ultimately, to, to execute your pro, pro construction project well, you need to make sure that you have total visibility of your construction work fronts. Now, this information can be shown to you on a dashboard or it can be shown even on a 4D simulation where you can see this was what was planned, what is this things ready so that you can decide on the model that which are the areas where you can execute your work. Now, how do we get this is that we create an integrated schedule. So, which means you have a master schedule which is defined by your client. You have your EPC schedule which defines what are the drawings required, what are the items to be procurement schedule, you have your construction schedule, your cost. All this gets integrated inside Wrench Smart Project. And then you also define to the last level of detail, which means you know exactly that what is the last level of activity each person has to do. So everybody gets a to-do list. And from this information is what these dashboards are. So this is not something where somebody is sitting and keying in and you get a dashboard. Because we are capturing and integrating all these schedules. And then what we do is we capture this information from the source, which means your engineering team will provide you the engineering status, a procurement team, as they do keep ordering items and going through tendering and all those activities, we capture the procurement status. You capture the, the uh, progress from the engineering and procurement related status. We capture it from the site. What is the status of construction that is taking place? What are the you know HSC logs? What are the quality checks? What are the snags? Everything is captured and including the quantity of construction from the site. And all this is assimilated by integrating with the schedule and integrating with your cost because cost is eventually recorded in your ERP software. And these information are collated and that is how these dashboards which I showed you is presented to you. So this is not a system where people key in data and you get a report, but you're actually capturing things from the source and providing you this report. Now coming to the next important thing is related to quality. So you have various parameters or various aspects of quality that you measure. And these are captured through the system. And you can get dashboards on quality to show you what are the slippages, what are the non-conformances. You can look at that and see is it whether a vendor is an issue or what is the lead time for closure. These can be measured and the quality is measured through this. Same thing applies to safety as well. You have your permit to work, your issue management, your non-conformances and incident reporting are also captured to the system and you can generate reports from the system. So the most important thing is you see what are the near misses. So you can take necessary training, uh, corrective action. So all these are recorded on the system itself. And how we do that is that we capture even the issues and the risk associated from a risk register. You So again, you have a risk heat map which is recorded through the system when, when you find that based on the 
uh, you know, probability and impact, you have a risk score, the heat map shows of which are the items which are at high risk and then you take preventive actions to fix those by having a mitigation plan so that these risks do not become issues and then you don't manage issues, you just manage it at the risk level. And these, all this information is captured on forms. So these items that I showed you on quality was just an example. Now you can create all these in digital forms. These can even be sent through a workflow and from that you are able to make sure that all your dashboards and reports are coming. Now next important thing for you is your cost. As I said, every EPC is working and if it's an EPC project, you're on fixed cost. So it's absolutely necessary that you track your cost. So you can uh, monitor your earn value S curves from the system and you can get your drill down cost at any point in time. Again, this information is not coming from wrench only. You get this information from your ERP system. You get the information of progress from wrench. You have the timesheet. You have all this data being collated. Your when you are placing orders, you have commitments, so there is a material cost, the labor cost, all these are collated and that is how you get your cost information. So what we do is, we have a budget which, in which you define on a project and when you place orders, you have a commitment. So based on the commitment, as work happens, when you are engaging to resources, you create your value of work done, but, but you don't get paid every day, you have a milestone. So when you get where when you bill, that is when your actual value of work done gets converted to money. And another important thing is change management because this is where changes come from the client, changes come from the contractor, vendor. These changes have to be recorded and there could be an impact on the schedule or on the cost and based on which you can see the impact of it. And then you have your invoices raised and payments. Those are also tracked through the system integrated with your ERP system. So now, this is how we control your cost and also your cash flow. Again, cash flow is again linked to your milestone. So you can see which milestones are critical for you and what you need to do to get those milestones uh, payments to be done. So you can track your project or plan your project based on your milestones of your payment. Now, once you're executing the project, you have your commissioning done, then you have snagging which is you know, uh, done on the, on the site where you capture pictures. And once you close all the snags and the punch list, then eventually you have your handover. So this is another very important criteria because most of the time 10% of the project is held up for handover. Now you can do a complete digital handover where during the execution phase, we are capturing all the data which is created on the project. And in a digital way, you can create the dossier and then you can hand it over to your client or just like I showed you the 4, 4D data, you can even have a handover on 3D through this, which means you can create a digital twin by which you can hand it over so that your client can, you know, uh, take this data for their, you know, maintenance and uh, other related information. So what does Rent Smart Project provide you is that as an EPC co uh, uh, contractor, it provides you control. If you do not control, it will go out of control. So you need to make sure you control your quality, you control your schedule, your cost, which is your project control part. There are a whole lot of documents which you exchange, communications, RFIs, all this. The document control with complete history and resources, which means there's a large number of resources on a project, it's controlled through this. Along with that, it also provides you a platform to collaborate with your client, with your internal team, with your vendors, if you have multiple offices, sites engaged in it, everybody can be on the same page by uh, engaging on this project. And also the most important thing for a contractor is compliance. You need to make sure that the health safety compliance is followed in the organization or on the project. That can be ensured. Risk, security and quality are also ensured through the system. So ultimately, as an EPC contractor, we provide you a single platform wherein the whole team can work together because you work with different vendors, you work with different contractors, and you need the endorsement for everything that you do from a client. You can bring all of them together so that as a team, you can deliver your projects within your budget, which is the most important thing, on time and with quality. So that is what we can offer you as a solution from Smart Project for our EPC contractor. Thank you. Thank you.